welcome back to Mobility Wad. Uh, today, I'm sitting here a little bit blown out from uh, flipping a heavy tire. Thanks, Rob Orlando, and doing some some snatches. And uh, so I'm going to treat myself and uh, show you what I'm thinking. I'm going to work it today, bias mainly on uh, lacrosse ball and some soft tissue stuff. Some things maybe you haven't seen yet or we haven't hit yet. Um, here's my trusty skeleton friend. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take that ball and I'm going to put it right in the soft tissue around the hip. Um, you know, we're, we're fancy of saying, hey, glute med, oh, short hip rotators, but basically, I'm going to just translate this ball right into my butt, and I'm going to try, instead of thinking trigger point like stuff, I'm going to just roll around and try to pancake all the little fibers around my hip. So, what's that look like? Stick it in your butt, right there. Boom. Don't be sexy about it. Don't be creepy. Uh, you know, and what will happen is you'll find the business that's ugly. And I can, again, internally, externally rotate my leg. That hits some of that stuff. Maybe that's the poor person's ART. I can find something that's really tight, contract, and relax over it, sink a little bit further. The contract, relax works over there, make it a little muscle. But I can also just pancake back and forth. And thinking kind of starting from your, your tailbone and working all the way to the hip. Let's try to get a minute or two each hip here for starters. That's number one, okay? Number two is that we're gonna go after a little bit something different today. We're gonna talk about your psoas. The psoas is basically, as we said before, is the filet mignon of the human being. It attaches from kind of the lateral aspects of these vertebral bodies, and it bowstrings over the pelvis and kind of attaches on the inside of the part of your leg. Um, you know, we, we classically think of the, hip, the, the psoas as a hip flexor, but it also brings the, tr the pelvis to the trunk. But, uh, you know, it's important because it thinks, it, you know, realistically it probably works in both directions simultaneously uh, with different segments kind of moving. Look how many joints it passes. A ton of joints. And usually when I'm in a bunch of extension, like I was lifting the 600-pound tire and doing the snatches, sometimes it gets a little bit tight because it's one of the things that limits and freaks out when I start to get overextended. So I'm going to take that ball. I'm going to find my belly button. I'm going to be just lateral to my belly button. Because remember, I want to start kind of L1, working all the way down the pelvis. This obviously is no problem. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my stomach, and I'm going to see if I can trap that ball and roll sideways back and forth until I find that uh, ugliness. So I'm starting about the height of my belly button. I prop myself up. I'm going to come in obliquely. If I come straight down, I might not feel anything. But if I come at an angle, uh, there's the pirate eye, the crazy horse eye. And I'm just going to roll back and forth. And if you don't find anything, Move it around a little bit. You'll probably find one side is uglier than the other side. Just stay on one spot till you make some change. Stops hurting a little bit. Take a big breath in your belly. Push that psoas in there. Dude, we're working on a muscle directly attached to your back. It gets tight, can cause back problems. Usually it's pathognomonic, which is a fancy way of saying that when you have a, a psoas problem, you're a little overextended or uh, uh, you know, you've just abused the crap out of it. But you know, it's worth getting in there a little bit. Don't worry if it feels like you're being gutted freedom. That sort of uh, reaction is normal. And then uh, hit the other side a little bit. So spend a couple minutes exploring in there. Kind of go around. Try not to look like you're humping the floor too much. It's, it's creepy. Uh, do this in the privacy of your own home. Have a glass of wine. Okay. So we're going to hit the kind of the hips here and then we're going to hit some business here. Um, and then I want to throw, throw this at you. So since we're kind of sitting on the floor anyway, I'm going to reach in, I'm going to go ahead and cross right over left. Back is straight. If I feel a kind of a weird gapping force in my knee, that's my lateral collateral knee or la lateral collateral ligament uh, kind of exploding. I can unwind that and hold, and that'll be my sub. But most of us should be able to get into a good position upright. So we typically think fold forward. Back is straight. Don't need to challenge the back. And I'm just going to fold here. And then I can do that same thing hunting in different directions. So start here. Go to different corners. But look, this leg is trapping down this hip. And since I've already worked on the tissues there, I might as well catch some of this stuff. The foot is anchoring the hip. I'm just going to fall away and try to think about opening and lengthening through the side here. This stuff gets tight too. Just hang out. Hand can go across. You can make it look nice. Try to be in a nice little square and just hang out on this thing. If I did a contract relax, I just resist in my foot and the release. It kind of hits this high TFL business and, uh, and gets a good stretch right in this corner that tends to get good. And uh, so that'll be homework today. All right, so see if you can uh, commit Harry Kari, Harry Kari on the medicine ball or on the lacrosse ball. Um, let's get this thing into your butt, into the soft tissues to get that thing turned around. And then let's go ahead and explore some of this business in the lateral part of the hip. All right, see you tomorrow.